Welcome back to the UGQ podcast. <clears throat> it has been a short while since we have done one of these. Um, you know, it's like one of those time, one of those like seasons of life where you get punched in the tooth and then you get run over by an elephant and then yeah, I don't know about that. Steamrollers. It's and one of those. I think you could have said it better by saying like when it rains it pours. That's too cliche. I like was thinking. Well, I was trying to be more creative, but an elephant. I don't know. Yeah, it's I, not well, relatable. It's not my strong suit. Uh, anyways, it's been uh, been quite the challenging month to two two months. Actually, the last uh, that I was checking, the last time we have done a podcast was in April wow. with uh, Corey from Majestic Hammock. So it's uh, it's definitely been it's a been while. A and it, what's funny is that right before that, we had told everyone that we were going to like be more consistent. Be more consistent. But I think usually when you say stuff like that, it's, it always happens. That yeah, way. we open the floodgates. Like we, I always say when I'm like, oh, tonight I'm going to bed early, I always stay up late on those nights. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm not saying that anymore. So we figured we would uh, take some time today to update you guys on what's been going on, why we have been MIA for uh, almost two months. However many months. Uh, it's, 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 been, um, it's been quite the, uh, <clears throat> the struggle. So... Long story short, because I really don't want to get into too much detail, um, I had a, a major hip surgery last August, um, came out of the hip surgery, everything was okay, mm -hmm. went through all my physical therapy, and for the most part was doing was doing fine. Um, realized uh, a couple months after physical therapy that things were not quite right and started having some, some hip complications come up and... Um, just some crazy circumstances where mm -hmm. like my whole leg wasn't even usable. I couldn't move it at all. Mm -hmm. It felt like all the nerves were like severed at the hip socket. Yeah. I mean, it was really, really bizarre. Yeah, and so pain. that Just led like that. to a series of days in bed mm -hmm. that turned into weeks that pretty much turned into months. Yeah. Um, along with some some major back complications and things that we had just found out recently uh, that are not ideal. Um, but needless to say, I have almost quite literally been bedridden for a month and a half, going on two months. Mm -hmm. uh, and today, in fact, is the first day that I've been as mobile as I have. Um, so it's put a tremendous stress on both the company and us personally. Um, you know, we, her and I do so much, and now she's having to carry the majority of the burden between facilitating here and taking care of the kids. And mm -hmm. it's been an absolute... I always say it could be worse, so I'm not going to complain yeah. because things could always wow. be worse. Um, but if you guys are wondering why <clears throat> I have not put out any videos or content or we haven't done any podcasts, it's because I've been laying in bed all day, uh, quite literally not being able to move. That's true. I've well, <laughs> been it, stuck there. Yeah, as much as possible. I mean, yeah. Pretty, I mean, yeah, you're pretty accurate. But it, it started out as like, oh, well, I we'd leave early from the shop and stuff like that. And then having a harder time coming in sometimes to now, yeah, where you got to the point of like, I really can't do that much physically. And I think obviously I had just gotten to the point. Ooh, yep, sorry. Watchy. <laughs> My infamous tap. I had just gotten to the point of like taking over more of responsibility for you and then moving into like a support role and things like that. And then needing to step in more, you know, I think the hard part for me is the customer service aspect that I don't want to let people down, but I also have to prioritize like health and family and yeah. that's it's, been tricky. It, yeah, it's been a challenge to keep up with all that's going on here and taking care mm -hmm. of emails and orders and, yeah. um, you know, it's 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 been a lot on you for sure. Yeah. Well, I think when you buy from <clears throat> a company like ours, it's very personal. So if I realize that I've let somebody down or maybe dropped the ball or just missed something in the midst of all the chaos, I actually will lay in bed and think about it. Where if you buy from Amazon or a big name company wherever, and nobody's laying in bed thinking about if your order's wrong or if right. it, something like that. So that has been interesting because, like I said, I don't want to let people down, but life just I don't know it just hits you sometimes so yeah well I mean god between you trying to facilitate everything here and taking care of all four kids and taking care of the house and doing laundry and trying to keep up on all the chores by yourself well whew, scared the <laughs> poop out of me that was one of those was that one of those lights 
in case you can't tell, we put some new lights in here, and uh, one of them just fell. I was going to say, if that happens when we're it, well, right that, in the middle of filming. That one actually oh. fell right before oh we started, gosh. and I restuck it up, and it's not <laughs> clearly staying. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you okay. continue on with what you're talking about. I, I'm going to hang I this light back up. It doesn't matter. Saying. Just roll with it. Everyone's fine. <clears throat> I, I literally was so scared. I, like, I'll be interested to see what I looked like because that was actually terrifying. I, I don't know. I feel like I had finished my thought. I don't want to let, let people down. I'm but gonna, I'm going to put it in a better spot this time. Oops. Technical difficulties. <laughs> but obviously content not being put out is because that okay. we have to go for physical health being obviously the most important family and like making sure everything's okay. Running the company on a obviously see how long that lasts prioritizing the most important things so unfortunately content just that's like where's the time for do it? they and even care about content honestly i don't even know i, I don't know I, I, th know. I feel like it's one of those things where as a small business we focus so much on just putting out the quality that we've always done and then like jumping into content has been uh it's been challenging because you don't always, you know, know what people are interested in seeing and you're mm -hmm. trying to create your brand identity and focusing on like our own personalities, you know, because at the end of the day, we are the ones that dictate what the social media looks like and what our podcast looks like. And, you know, trying to zero in a specific style or, um, you know, genre of content uh, has not been easy. In fact, mm -hmm. I would say that our content is quite literally all over. Um mm -hmm. That's just because we don't know what we're doing and we're super inexperienced and we're just literally winging every second of the day inside and out. Okay. <laughs> we, the, the actual production, we're not winging that. We've no. got down pat. Like that's obviously like our bread and butter, but the, the content oh, is yeah, what I'm saying. We literally have no idea sure. what it's we're doing of... at all. But what do you guys think of the, the lights? I thought, you know, maybe it would look cool. I feel like it looks cool. I don't know. It's on theme. It's more, I was so over the uh the blandness of the rest of the picture that i was like you know what we should get some some lights so we actually sat down to film and then i was looking at it, i'm like you know what we need more lights i can't this is looking terrible so we drove right on up to the store got Ooh, some more lights and, breathing kind of hard just and came back sorry so uh yeah this is uh we're trying something new yeah. you know see what happens Yep. Um, other than that, other than, uh, <clears throat> so, so, well, along that, no, I've been using a cane like 80% of the time. And, mm -hmm. um, so it just, it's just created a lot of things slowing down. So if you are a customer and you're currently waiting on your products, uh, or on email, on reply. emails, sincerely, we appreciate your patience and understanding mm -hmm. while we're navigating through all this and trying to get, figure things out. Yeah. Uh, I am feeling a lot more optimistic today when I woke up, how much better I was feeling today. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know what changed, but I've felt a lot better today. Still not even near 100%, but we're able to come in today, um, which is a huge plus. Mm -hmm. So, uh, anywho, anywho, that's anywho. that. Uh, that that summarizes the last two months why we've not been here. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we've not done this. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, because I think it'd be weird to do the podcast, like, from our bed or something, so. I'm sure there's people out there that would enjoy okay. that, but well, I said that's I not something that we're going to do. I think it would be weird <laughs> and not really our typical way yeah. of doing things, but that would have been our, really our only option. So We should have did that. That's a good oh idea. Oh, my God. No. The old bedcast. Pillow talk. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Quillo talk. Qu oh, my gosh. Perfect. Quillo talk. Oh my I like gosh. how you were genuinely excited. Uh, that was too cute. I love it. Uh, speaking talk. speaking of Quillo, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that has been honestly surreal <clears throat> to see the response and and how many people are absolutely loving the Quillo yeah. and going crazy over it. I mm -hmm. I would have never guessed honestly when we first launched it. Um, but with know. with that in mind, there are uh, some some new products in the not so distant future <laughs> that uh, may have similar. Well, you know what? Just just keep an eye out because <laughs> you never know what we might just do next. Right. Uh, but yeah, we've got uh, we've got some things in the works. Um, so we're not we're not so 
depressed that we're not actually still creating. So I've been depressed. I've been pretty depressed laying in bed all day. It's not ideal, uh, but it's given me a lot of time to think and a lot of time to um, come up with some things that I think you guys are going to like. So keep an eye out for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, um, we have not talked about this as much as we should, uh, but Machilligan is a Michigan based hammock hang that we've been a part of since the beginning. Um, it's one of our, and if you hear our kids screaming in the background, mm. same story as usual. It's because they're out in the offices and I can hear them quite yeah, clearly through the headphones. So uh, if you can hear screaming in the background, don't worry. They're just well, they're destroying good, each but other. We've also not filmed for, yeah. Know, so they're not so as, long. they're not they're as not used like to, in their little routine. yeah. Um, anyways, so Machilian is a, hammock event in uh just south of grand rapids michigan uh the dates are okay. october 3rd through the 6th at the, the first weekend in october and it's yankee, in, like, springs, yankee springs uh deep lake unit the, campground it's like the, the rustic, rustic campground mm-hmm. um so there are limited spots for this event uh and i will put links up or in the description um for registration i don't even know if registration's up yet um but either way that link will take you to either the soon to be registration page or the the actual registration page page um yep and then if you go to the michilligan facebook page there's updates on there uh, different vendor you know sponsors etc um that will be there yeah we will obviously be there we will have uh probably a healthy dose of things going in the raffle probably several mm-hmm. quillows and quilts and all that so be yeah. sure to put that on your calendars we would love to see uh, as many people there as possible as in the name there's like all kinds of chili chili it's oh, like yeah. a it's a chili um, fest yeah it's, it's what a do you call it like you vote on it i don't know a contest. cook-off or something a con- okay yeah and- <laughs> the chili contest Man. uh yeah, there's there was some good ones. There was year. there was like the what was that there was one a that dessert was dessert yes, chili dessert. and that was my you favorite would think one. is that the one that won? I think it is. I, I'm and, pretty oh sure. Gosh. Get with I the, ate too much of that. Yeah, that it was, it was shocking so because it was literally a dessert chili, good. but you look at it and it's like it's going to be savory, and oh, it was. There there, there was, was some just some different really varieties. Unique, I don't know. It's yeah. just kind of fun. It's so, Michigan. It's cold. Uh, and then typically we sponsor Friday night meal, which. Usually yeah, hot dogs. I mean, maybe we'll chips, up our game this year. Potato salad. Some beans if we're feeling real crazy. Well, maybe we'll up our game. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not going to. We just said how things are. I'm not trying to, like, make promises I can't keep. So. But I do know that they specifically chose the dates that it is this year so that it's not coinciding with other like major hangs. hangs because time. typically it's in the middle of October and it's mm-hmm. uh same time, I think, is like fall sprawl and another but, one. Yeah. I can't remember. But they're trying to make it so that people can... Right. Go to more. So there's no excuse for you to not be there this year. We need uh, we well, need more vendors. Is, we need there more like a max capacity or something. Yeah, like but <laughs> if if we hit that max this year, then there's going to be opportunities to, to like upgrade location. the venue yeah, so that we can. True. We just haven't had the justification because during the pandemic, the last Michigan before last year was in 2019. Well, so and it had been a if while. If you didn't want to be on the rustic, there is that public campground too. That who knows they might have openings if people wanted to like come over for the events and yeah. like to mingle and then if you're a if you're a camper their, guy yeah like me you know <laughs> you just might find me over there i uh i am undecided on if i'll be in a hammock at that well, event. last year uh, that's the infamous one that everybody now mentions you on about getting grounded in the tent yeah. that okay you guys he had had surgery <laughs> two months okay. prior like i'm trying to be a good wife. it was even funnier though when we went no, to hank on and we were in the myself. giant motor home and well, that was at Hank. We were, but we had all kids. of our kids, and they've never hammock camped, and which we're get, hopefully getting them into this year. And it was our first event, like together as a new. Well, I guess Machilligan, sort of, but not. That was like right yeah, after. Not really. I wasn't even like involved, like I am now. Yeah. So and it was, Con was kind of like our debut, and then our kids. We had not traveled like that as a family, so it was kind of like a. We right. were packing a lot into one experience for that. So I don't have any regrets about that, like I said. But um, the that is when I, you know, gr- when you got grounded. To yeah, it was it was when I was in the hammock. I, no matter what I did, I could not get was like, the pressure off worth. my hip. And it was just pulling at my back in yeah. the wrong way. And, and we did talk about it. And I'm like, yeah, you know, let's try it. Give it an honest effort. But let's be willing to, like, change the plan and pivot. So and we, we did. did. We went so. to Walmart and got us a nice uh, $30 tent. And mm-hmm. Slept pretty I, good. We had that, that double X-Ped 
sleeping mat. I and, will just say it. I really do think I'm a, a tenter. I mean, I know. <laughs> I'm going to get like. There's going to be some ominous there's music. There's going to be some when hate mail. That. I already can like feel it now in the email. Don't you remember what happened when Devin said that? Brittany, I know. You I mean, can, I'm with Devin. I get it. I mean, I'm not. Although I, Devin's rocking the haven I'm now. Not, I think. I'm I, not saying that I'm I want like to try one of those. to hammock. I'm not saying that. Have you seen the haven? The. Mm-mm. Well, you've seen it. You probably just don't remember. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but it's it's a pretty interesting. That's it. Obviously, a lot heavier than a traditional hammock, and it use a lot, utilizes a ground pad instead of an underquilt, which, you know, I'm obviously I just against. Like being like still, I, mean, I don't know that I want to like move like that when I'm sleeping. I don't like to sleep in cars. I don't sleep like that. I'm just not a moving sleeper, however you want to say. But I mean, you move a lot at home. I'm saying, saying like I don't want. I think some people like movement like that when they're sleeping and it's soothing, obviously. Like oh, you're talking about like literally do, like the swaying. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. I thought you movement. meant like. I think I want to be stationary to feel like I can sleep. I, I don't know. I just, and I don't like laying out there like a hot pocket. So. Like a bear burrito. Like that's I said, what, I'm, not, I'm willing to keep trying and keep testing things. I mean, there's plenty of options out there, but I'd also be totally open to trying tents and ground options for us and using the tango and calling it a day Ooh, the tango that's actually been a pretty hot seller it too has lately we i'm have like sold. tango tango as yeah. I'm processing order them like, a lot more and i'm like we don't even camper. have one what the heck yeah well i can already foresee that one's coming oh yeah <laughs> except Might i don't well just how give away we, all my sets how will we decide on we what do. we would pick how would we do that what do you mean did something just fall? <laughs> Another light. No way. <laughs> it, oh, I man. Sure the, we need to contact the guy that looking, installed these. And yeah. mm-hmm. Anyways, go continue. I'm going to go put that back up. We'll see how many of these we do during this I video. I was saying, well, I kind of need you for this conversation. I'm saying, how would we decide what our tango would look like? We're very different when it comes to building products. So you're like black or it has to be UGQ theme. And I'm like... I'm so open to a lot of different patterns and colors, and so how would we decide? Oh, we would compromise, and we would go with all the patterns and colors. Okay. <laughs> that's that's all that's that not, would be. I don't like you painting me out like that, because that's not true. Where these types of things are concerned, I'm always willing to literally compromise. Like, all right, well, let's so. do black then. Perfect. That's not, That was easy. That's, does it have Thanks to be like UGQ looking? to be like, Yeah, no, there's going to be a big UGQ like printed logo on it. How about just like a nice earth tone one, like a uh, dark You look olive. so cool with like this orange glow going on around you <laughs> with your hair and it's so, looking sweet. Thank you. What about like dark olive and black? I'm just going to stare at you for a bit while you're talking. Dark olive and black. It's nice. Earth tone. Dark. Or like an olive and black. It's like I, earth tone. We saw a lot of dark olive, but it's not my cup of tea. I love like the earth tones though. So I'm thinking nice. black and gray. No, that is, I am telling you. <laughs> processing orders it's like black 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 that is the most common inner color i think by far yeah that it's a and it's a, it's a toss up between and that and so turquoise much gray. dark yeah that that combination though is what i was gonna say so common and dark olive yeah yeah, I can hear him so clear. <laughs> it does sound I don't, cute. I'm curious if you guys can hear him. They're just playing. It actually sounds super cute, but I don't know if they can hear him. Yeah, they're doing great. And they have they have been troopers through all this, too. I mm-hmm. mean, just the whole transition to doing this, and then obviously in the last couple of months, the summer's kind of been a bust in a lot of ways. And Well, summer's only, it's almost a month in, I think. We're not even, but it feels like. It's just well, the first day was by. June twentieth, so we're not that far. Oh, no, like summer from. But school. the first, the week that before like the first week of summer, it was week. like mid nineties the entire week, which yeah. was hot. At least we have AC though. Yeah, the freshest air around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> AC. Mm-hmm. If anybody knows what that quote's from, from put it in the comments. There's <laughs> got to be somebody that knows what that's from. I don't need to go outside. Doesn't that make sense? Mm-hmm. I've got. The, AC. I got the freshest air around. AC. AC. Yeah, that's somebody will get it. <laughs> so um, we're not gonna we're not gonna spend a ton of time on this one, um, mainly because we need to talk about sitting here is not. It's making me sweat. Upcoming. 
So yeah, oh, we could update on. We got Machilligan uh, coming up in October. Be sure to be at that, please. The more Let's people, see. the better. Oh, uh, I have not decided officially what it's going to look like yet, but we are planning on doing a Fourth of July <laughs> sale. Um, I'm thinking like four percent off for you know the fourth. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do like a four day sale, one percent off day one. So like July first <laughs> is one percent off. off. Come on, they they would. Jeez. Oh my. This is like not looking good on our first podcast back. So if you're a loyal follower, I, you'll stay, I will make sure that the oh <laughs> the lights God. Are, are, are better like, installed next together. time. Uh, as really? usual, Brittany's gonna I'm carry gonna take on. Over. I don't even remember what you were saying because this has been so distracting. Oh, all the for batteries me. came out. Update. It was our, I can't get it right on the camera. It was our anniversary on June 11th. Happy anniversary. And we did manage to get Chad out of the house, and we went and got another. We have, mat, not matching, but, oh, yeah, we do have matching. Tattoos on our ring fingers that we got, I think, for our second or third, one of the first few anniversaries. So we wanted another set of tattoos. His is on the opposite wrist, mine's, but it's, I don't know, they're not showing good, Chad. Tally marks for each. We've been together, married, 12 years, so there's 12 tally marks. He was trying to fix the technical difficulties. And every year we'll add another tally mark. 25 goes all the way around. All right, we'll see. Oh, yeah. You so show yours. I don't, it's so hard to do. Oh, I wasn't going to get up there and do all that. His are bigger and on the opposite and arm. They're not, they're not crooked it's as long yeah, as much as they look they're like they're not there. crooked. And they're really, like, kind of just like. But that was, uh, that was actually a funny story because. A, a couple weeks before, God, you can tell we are such professionals. A couple weeks before uh, our anniversary, I had mentioned or indicated that I wanted to get some tattoos for. Yeah, well, you asked, would, it, would you be open? That's what you said, sorry. Oh, my <sighs> The oh, facial expressions that I have when all these things are happening are just going to be that's so fun. great. This is why we do what we do. It's reality, folks. Yeah. And we don't cut any of it out because it just makes it so much more fun. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? You are saying there was a funny story about... Oh, because I had mentioned a couple oh, weeks yeah. prior saying, that I wanted us to, be open to go get tattoos for our anniversary. And I, I had researched and looked and looked and looked and I really couldn't find anything. Like it was either like a, a yin and yang style. Like or we they each were had so like, cheesy. Right, or Just it was like, like half a heart and We don't half like that. It looks half like done to us. We don't like that. And let me just say the first time we got tattoos, that was my idea. So, all right. I've said my piece. <laughs> anyway, come on. You keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> the stare uh, doesn't phase old Brit. No, it doesn't. 12, I, no, I've tried. Almost, I've but. tried. <laughs> uh, so, yes, yeah, so that was her idea, the finger tattoos. Um, did you explain that? Cause I, oh, those are... Uh, Sit, we got married June 11, 2012, so there it's the Roman numerals for 6, 11, 12 on our fingers. Yeah, and it was specifically so that I didn't forget no, our anniversary. Was not. I just, That's I'm why just, she, she's not admitting it. Not, it. That's why that she did because she was I like, I don't do Roman numerals where you like have to figure out, oh, what are those again? I don't even know. It's like every time I'm, I'm like, oh, I gotta. I didn't Google graduate that one high school, again. so that's accurate. Oh, okay, he got his GED. I'm never gonna not say that after he says mm -hmm. he doesn't graduate. He didn't graduate. GED. I aced that bad boy. You got that after we met. You were like, oh, this girl, I got to get in line. So. <laughs> exactly. And you got it. I was you, proud. you keep me in line. Uh, <laughs> so, story, funny. Back to that. Yeah. Um, so, I had mentioned I wanted to get tattoos for our anniversary, <laughs> and Brittany was like, yeah, whatever. I you know, kind of like blew it off, I was like open whatever. To it. I we wasn't fine. convinced that that would actually happen. Yeah. I was, so,. On our anniversary, she was like, oh, I got all these gift cards. Let's go shopping, and I'll spend all these gift cards that she had accumulated yeah. from over the years. And tur turns out most whatever. of them were expired, which... No, not... It, they just... They weren't expired. It just said they had zero dollars, but I had never... That's spent. basically the same thing as expired, because... So, yeah, I guess that's they were, true. They were... Yeah. Well, um, some of them were. So, our shopping was cut very short, and we were in the car, and... Uh, wasn't sure what to do next. And you had talked about like too early for, for years and years and years about wanting to get your nose pierced. Mm -hmm. And, oh, it was when we were in the mall. <clears throat> I saw yeah. the Claire's store. And I was like, yeah. oh, you should get your, your nose like pierced. And Brady's like, there's no way in H-E-double hockey sticks I'm getting my nose pierced at Claire's. Yeah. 
I'm like, you go to like a, a piercer at a tattoo shop, so it's like done professionally and right. sterilely. So when I said that, she was like, oh, no, I'm not getting it done there. And when we go out to the car and I'm like, we should go get tattoos and get your nose pierced. And mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure you had a mild panic attack. Oh, I think I, I was I, like, well, I, I didn't mean today. <laughs> I didn't mean I wanted it done like, you know, this year. Yeah, you were, you were panicked. But you've, how long have you wanted your nose pierced I for? I mean, a long time, like definitely probably since I was in my teens, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. But I just kind of, I was having kids and I'm like, okay, I'm not worried about my nose piercings and tattoos right now. So, and she thought that was going to be the end of it. Like she said yeah. her piece and that like, was oh, it. So no, I'm like, yeah. I'm calling right now to see if they have appointments and I'm like available. I'm sweating in the car. And she's trying to get me to not do it. So I call anyways. <laughs> I, I just was like. And she was, she basically said like, oh, well, you know, nose, nose piercings are just walk-ins and whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, do you guys have time for a tattoo also? And Brittany's like, wait, what? Well, I, I said, we'll say a small tattoo because that'll probably. Yeah. Um, and they were like, yeah, just come on in and, and I'm like, <laughs> we'll get you taken care of. Bag. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what we did. We went down there. Uh, we, at first we're going to try to, the tattooist was like, well, what you should do is try to draw the tally marks on each other. Yeah. Well, actually it was, it was literally the drive over there that yeah. the idea came to me to do the tally Cause marks. Cause I'm like, I don't want to get just some blow off tattoo that it's like, why I, I yeah, want it to have like, some meaning like to us and not just be all corny. And like, so yeah. Right. And and, and then like, as I explained to her, like we can use these tattoos like it'll be like an like when I'm tattoo. on when I'm on the streets, I can tell people it's like how many years oh, I was okay. in prison or like when I'm in jail. Wow. It can be how many years mm-hmm. how many my like how many people I've killed yeah. or how many it could be like, it could be anything. How, oh my god, I'm not, I almost said how many that. miles I've hiked in my lifetime. Right. Count them up, twelve. Oh god. Uh it's so many it's open yeah, for so that was the point was that it was like between you and I, we know what it represents and we know it's what like it means. You, it makes but it's, it unique. It's to something us, that we can oh, have. Yelling. Yeah, you're yelling. It makes it's us fine. Unique. So, you blah, said blah, blah. We chick, went. We'll get one we, each year. We went there and we were explaining it to her what we wanted to do, and she was like, "Well, why don't you guys like try to draw them on each other?" Well, we had and to then decide show where tattoo. we wanted them. And yeah, that was a whole thing. That but. took. Once we got that not dialed in, then she that's when she had the idea. She was like, you should try drawing them on. Well, yeah. that was an absolute it was a cool idea, catastrophe. For sure, but... Because Brittany woo. kept drawing mine on literally so crooked. Like lines really were such thin, different sizes. Fat. And, I didn't get the scale right. It was stressing me out. Cause and Chad the lady was like particular. convinced. She was like, no, this is, this is like what you want to do because mm-hmm. it's more meaning. Did you say you were talking? And I no, you. I'm just saying like, oh, just walk. What? <laughs> like, why don't say anything like... Oh, I'm not. Saying, I'm not saying who it was I'm or where we got it done. Kind of like, no, no, I'm not saying like that. I'm saying I'm saying that she out. she. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying being. Uh, I'm not being it's mean. Hard. Listen, sometimes artists I, have their even, own idea. And we I was explaining what I was trying to say was is that she she had it in her mind like this was going to be a, a good idea which it was a cool idea and we were open to it and we were trying it but it just yeah. wasn't working out. So well, you're leaving out that she felt like the tattoos kind of leaving them imperfect looking would be better because they're going to be added to, et cetera. Whereas our vision was very like clean lines and them to look a very specific way. Not, not like that, not uh, imperfect. And so it was just kind of, we were kind of taking a long time to get to like the same vision, I think. Yeah. And it was like, so eventually we ended up just doing, we said, we'd really like you to use your professional skills straight and, she lines used a, and a ruler and measured them out and scaled yeah. them to both of us. And we felt way better yeah. about that. So anyway, that was a long, that was, that was a long, long, long explanation. digression on our anniversary. Yeah. We're, we're good at that. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not sure if anybody's even still listening at this yeah, point because like, it was like totally irrelevant. No. Uh, but yep. So we got that tattoos. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm, the next tattoo I'm getting. Oh, on my nose. We never even. Oh yeah, she got her nose pierced. Did, you can't uh, really see it. It's so little. Uh, but oh, we're we're my next tattoo is gonna be the UGQ logo. I think on my oh, calf. We'll see. TBD. TBD. Just because. Why not? Uh, you have a, a kid to add still, so. Yeah, I've got three of the four the kids logo. tattooed on me, and my youngest is seven. So. Yeah, talk, he's got Talk that about to procrastination. Do first. Uh, so yeah, this is where we're at. We yep. um, we, we still, still don't know what we're doing. Oh, talking at the same. Yeah, that's marriage. Yeah, no. Yeah, we're still. Sort of, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Can just we're go. Spill, spill. We're oh, spilling uh, milk every day. We're still really, we care so much about what's going on here. And 
I think I've said it like three times because I just want everybody to know that like we're trying. Like I'm wearing a lot of hats. You still wear a lot of hats and you're down. So it's just a lot to no pun manage intended. as, <laughs> as the, the, the he's down. always wearing a hat. Wait, the down. Hat? No, no. Because like the down because we fill we used a lot of down. What? I don't, oh, you've been down. Just forget. <laughs> okay. Next. I, I got it. <laughs> You made me lose my train of thought. Ooh. Oh, well. You were saying that you care so much and that you want everyone to be reassured that we're not just being lazy or negligent nope. if we're not if mistakes being as are made prompt or, as we normally are yeah, to I mean, everything yeah. that, you know, when you come here and you're here every day, there's like a routine and yeah. schedules well, plus and in things the midst that we of do. All this, we've dealt with supply chain issues and just that. And we already have staffing issues and yeah. people here and no, then another. Never ending struggles. So we're with a back issue and oh my goodness, it's like. Yeah. Yeah. We spent all, all week with our lead sewer being out yeah. due to her back so being injured. And repairs that are here that need to, I mean, it just, it weighs on me. Yeah. But and that's, like, that's. The, the big companies don't, don't feel like that. That's, it just shows though that, you know, we're. As the owners of the company, like we care so deeply about mm. not only the customers, but about the quality of the product yeah. going out and not wanting anyone to have a bad experience, whether it's through customer service or mm-hmm. through the product itself. Um, and, you know, it's it's quite literally our number one stress in life is mm-hmm. making sure that those two things are met, um, yeah. which, you know, is, is, again, challenging because we still also have four kids that count on yeah. us heavily and, you know, we homeschool them. So we're with them all day and they're, you know, they have all their own individual needs and trying to manage yeah. it all has, has certainly been. Mm-hmm. Um, well, and it's easy a as, as business owners and then when you're a couple who runs it together, because then it's easier to be like, oh, well, it's our time in bed, but we can. What over there? What? I don't know. I, I like, think that glowing thing, what is that? That's off usually in the not distance. doing that. That circle thing. Oh, that's the Wi-Fi. Sorry, that's everybody, the, if I was like, I think that. <laughs> she was like. <laughs> it was like mesmerizing me. It's easy when we're in bed to be like, oh, well, I could just answer some emails. Or, you know, I stayed up till 11 o'clock doing some back-end things. For, so it's just like, I'm like, what am I doing? And then getting up early, and then the kids are all sitting there quietly at the table. So I'll just, you know, sit there and work, which all that is necessary when you own a small business. So. On one hand, it just makes sense, but it's easy, I think, when you do it as a couple, to it pours in even more. And right now, we obviously want to make sure we're focusing on you, that you're healthy, that you can... It's about time. ...run things. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Come on. That is rude. What? That what? you're acting like you're just, like, forgotten about in our family. And that is not true. Me and the kids, are, oh, do you need anything? He has been... I came out of the bathroom today to a piece treatment. of paper on the floor... From our youngest. He drew him a picture. He drew a whole picture. It was literally just on the floor. So as like, I walked out, it was the first out. thing I would see. And it was a picture. I should have brought it. It was you it. and him. It was me and him holding hands and a big thing that said, I love you, dad. And, and it was there. And Ella's always coming in. Oh, do you need this? Do you need that? I come in and fix it, change out his ice machine and get him whatever. He, I mean, he is make not my forgotten and, about. It's been, honestly, it's been pretty <laughs> but nice. But you're <laughs> always, oh my gosh. Uh, it's one of those things where I'm like you, you, you never want to be down arms. like that, but it's like certain seasons in life. Like we don't take vacations. Like we, we it's just well, all we, busy, we busy, left busy, for busy. Easter, all rebellious to go to Great yeah, Wolf Lodge. Like, uh, <laughs> so honestly, it's it's in one regard, it's been kind of nice having you wait on me hand and foot <laughs> and make all my meals. And I well, feel like that um, episode of SpongeBob where that's what I was just Squidward saying. is, you know, and you keep coming and you're like, that's two things I that won't work. work. Yeah. And I'm like, have you, have She's you like, get to those emails? Did you finish those emails? And I'm like, honey, just let me get this movie finished. Yeah. And I haven't eaten yet today. And I'm today. like, well, I have to run up to the shop to make sure the production <laughs> team's all set. So if you could just, you know, get to those uh, emails while you're in bed. You guys, I swear it will get better. Yeah. We will get better at this someday. Wow. I. Just stick around long Chad enough. Chad will get better. I'm yeah. just Now that he's got uh, me. I thought another light fell because I was looking in the corner. And now it looks that he's got me here. Yeah, if honestly, if it wasn't for Brittany, we would be screwed. You all would be screwed. But I'm only one person. People, the world so would be screwed. So don't hold me to too high a standard. And yeah, I well, you it. know what? Gandhi no one was, was one in person. The email, Jesus so was people, one person. Martin Luther King was one person. They let me know when person. they're not happy with me. Rosa Parks was one person. Should I go and on? I, I'm fine with that. People can let me know when they're not happy. One person I just can do a trying. lot I'm trying to make a big here. difference. And if that's you, 
No, I'm just saying that I am trying. I hate letting people down. We don't need to turn this into a counseling session, but yeah. It probably would be helpful, honestly, for both of us. <laughs> Can you guys just listen? <laughs> just listen while we rant for the next 35 to 40 hours. Yeah, Chad gets a 30-minute block. I get a 30-minute block. And then you guys can, like, give us some Buckle feedback up. in the comments. Here we go. And then we'll be good. So I'm sure there's a lot of... Yeah. I mean, my office was looking like what happened in there, and I am, like, meticulous. And yeah, it was looking too. like that one guy on all those memes where there's, like, paper, and he's all, like, crazy looking. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -mm. He's, like, got all these <laughs> graphs. And, do you know what I'm I talking don't. about? I don't. I'll have to look it up, and maybe you can show it. But that's what I okay. That's what I was looking like in there, trying to figure out, like, how I'm going to manage all this without you here. And, oh, my God, need <sighs> dates and keeping up with lead times and fabric supply. Or not fabric supply. Well, that too. What did I call it? Supply chain issues. There we go. Yeah. Just one thing. It felt like when there. it rains, it pours. I was like, no. That was that guy in the shower that's like crying when I go home. Whoa. I'm super curious to see if they can hear that. I know. If not, then these microphones are sweet it's and perfect. But. Okay. And also let us know what you think of the, the extra glow we got going on here. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm digging Except it. Except for they're probably like, there's, yeah, there's maybe There's actually a screen right here in front of us so that we can. Seconds. There's a. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, the lights. We'll we'll fix that. That's I think I did because I, I, I stuck them on like Wait, where, those videos where the boards come together like this and they're slightly unlevel so that we're falling. So what I stuck them on the metal. What are those videos called that all of a sudden it scares you? Yeah. Jump scare? That's what this has turned into. Like every time I'm not a, that trendy. So every I time, a, well, I only know because when the kids come over, I'm like, oh, that's so cute. No, I'm just that made me sound <laughs> creepy, but that's how I, <laughs> that did make me sound like, I'm not like, what's up, kids? Uh, I am a safe place. Okay, I'm saying that they they told me about these jump scare videos because I'm like, you know, let's not do the jump scare videos. I'm like the one that's like, sorry, kids, rain on the parade. I'm like, no jump scare. And they're like, oh, okay. And you're like, no video games, organic I, yogurt. I always say I'm you're not. You're eating grass I'm not, for lunch. Stop. I'm not the mean <laughs> aunt, but I'm just like, I got to keep things in line when I have you're more, very structured. more kids than my additional. Yeah, if you're going to homeschool and you're going to do, Where, you have to be. When I have the kids, it's, yeah, it's like, everybody outside. Or everyone pile on the couch or and watch a turn movie. it on a movie. Or yeah, and I'm like, all right, and I'll kids, get the I'll get the food trough time. and I'll just pour cereal and popcorn oh, and we marshmallows just did a in there. Thumbs down, a thumbs down. Line. No, I'm like, all right, one hour of craft time followed by an hour of outdoors time. Then we'll have a snack. You're like mm -hmm. I'm just like, I like to keep it. But and the kids are like, can we have ice cream? I'm like, I don't care if there's any in there. Have it. And I'm like, it's after five o'clock p.m. No, we're not having ice cream. Like, you just. Do Make sure you know. cover it in a bunch of red dye and yeah, you just, whatever else. If you I, have I'm had not. multiple kids, you have to learn how to, if you don't want to lose all your sanity, I've kept, you know, a decent amount intact. A decent amount? Did I say that? A decent I've amount of sanity. I've kept a fair amount of my sanity intact. So It's good. Uh, we really got off the jump scare thing, though. This has turned into that because every time one thing, I was like. Yeah. So I, everyone I, else is going to do the same. Our thing. reactions, because uh, obviously I didn't see our reaction. Thumbs up. Uh, yeah, that's saying that our reaction was probably priceless. So mm -hmm. it'll maybe that'll be the thumbnail for the video of us going. Yeah, like a jump. Yeah, I think towards the end I've looked at that, but whatever. Nice. Not professional. Okay. Um, All right. So uh, yeah, I have a. Uh, the next, the next uh, guest coming on is uh, actually a former employee. Mm -hmm. Why do you look like that? You look so depressed when I At said My cord was oh. getting kind of tight. A uh, former Sorry, employee distracted. who uh, was also production my manager. production manager, as well as my Long -term uh, friend. childhood friend. Him and I have been friends going on 20 years now. Um, some of you may recognize him, uh, but... Buckle up because that's going to be an entertaining one because mm -hmm. um, him and I actually have not talked really much at all in the last almost two years. So we're actually going to use yeah. uh, the podcast platform for him and I to catch up and there'll be some very entertaining back and forth. I can assure you of that. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure he's got like a 12 foot long beard right now also. <laughs> so <laughs> that'll be scruffling into the microphone yeah, and it will. whatever else. So um, keep an eye out for that because that'll be the next episode after this one. And then after that, who knows? I may... Yeah. We're, we're so broke and lame that I don't even know if we'll have any more guests on here. I'll probably have like oh the, each God. one of the kids come on and who knows. We'll so something. we'll see what happens. But uh, we, we certainly appreciate those of you that have stuck around this long, all mm -hmm. one of you. 
Um, thanks, mom and dad. Uh, <laughs> my mom probably for sure. watching till the Number end. One uh, everyone else who got off earlier, you're dead to me. Um, just kidding, you're, you're not. Yes. Please, please don't go. You're dead to us. <laughs> no. uh, you're not. And we will. Um, do you need closing thoughts? Because I was going to end it. But if you have closing thoughts, you looked like you were going to say something. But uh, if I did, I've forgotten. Okay. This went on longer than I thought. Yeah. This and was I think a longer. I, I was like starting to like zone out, so people are going to be like, "What is wrong with her?" Yeah. I have ADHD, so it's too little sleep in the last decade. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, listen, we're gonna we're gonna have some more. Um, more content coming out here soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, keep an eye out for Fourth of July sale. Yep. Um, spend your money with us. Forget everyone else. Forget everything you thought you knew about everyone else, because wow, we it's bold. we would if we had it our way. I'm just yeah. saying we would prefer that everyone orders story? from us. And if we don't have what you're looking for. Chances are good we're probably not going to, so that you can buy from someone else. Well, well, if you're saying like new products, then yeah, I don't think we're launching any. Like but we are right still we second. are still a custom we're... shop, so we do take on custom projects also. So if you have that one yeah. crazy idea that you're thinking of, yeah. run it by Brittany. She'll draw up a whole blueprint oh, for you and tell you exactly how to how we're gonna build no. it. And Mm-mm, that's you. That'll be perfect. I'm just like the the passerby. What do you call it? The in between whatever liaison yeah that mm-hmm. okay between their idea and then you would say can this actually happen or not i'm just the in between like i'll let chad know so we'll see if this can happen oh chad says it can chad says it can't that's that mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right we are gonna wrap this it up is gone uh, way too long. check this out No, you can use it as an outro, it's, true. It doesn't even two, sound true, like an outro. Outro. Yeah, what about this? It sounds like you're going to go to bed. Right. If we're doing uh, we Quillow quit. Talk. We better quit before that I... That would be for oh, Quillow yeah. Talk. Welcome to Quillow Talk. <laughs> you... I was going to do it, but you, you did it. Okay, fine. you do no, it. No, no, it's you fine. It. It's too late. No, it was your chance. You've got the voice. <laughs> You've got the voice. Do it. I forgot which one it is. Welcome to Quillo Talk. Okay. You <laughs> did not. <laughs> All right, we're done. Uh, we will see you on the next one. We will be doing more, hopefully, as... Yeah, we'll see. Knock on wood, life doesn't uh, steamroll us. Oh. And we got angry, 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 angry yep. child staring at us. So we are going to wrap it up now. All right. And we will see you... On the next one. No, somebody already says that. We will see, we'll you, see you later. Later. We got to do the... That's our trademark. <laughs>